Hello everyone. I'm Fawzia Shamim from Pakistan and uh, one of the contributors to the book uh, by Alan Mealy, Developing Expertise Through Experience. Um, I, when Alan invited me to write a chapter, I was like, what's there in my experience that's really important for me to share? And uh, I was wondering whether anybody would be interested. But uh, when I started delving deep into my own experience, I realized how much it had shaped my thinking, my beliefs, how it had, through my experience, all my training and all the new things that I learned, uh, they were all filtered through my earlier experiences. But also, it was very enlightening to know that as I went along with new experiences, um, which included formal training, uh, I started actually um, changing, editing, extending, adding to my beliefs, uh, which was a very enriching learning experience. So um, what uh, I'd like to share with you is very briefly, what are the highlights of my chapter, which is called, uh, which I call learning to teach. Um, but before I go on to learning to teach, English is not my first language. I'm from Pakistan and uh, this is my second language. So uh, I thought I'd start with first what were my experiences of learning English um, and because most of us I think till and including myself till we had an opportunity for formal training which didn't come immediately um, after I graduated with my master's in uh, literature uh, but a few years later uh, all I had to fall back upon was my experience as a language learner. Um, and uh, so that, that was basically my, uh, my, my main resource. However, um, I was not happy with, uh, with, with that resource because I felt there's a lot more to learn. And that's when I started getting training opportunities. So uh, in my chapter, I've also um, sort of taken you or, or, or I've taken the readers through my journey, my trajectory as, uh, and my development as an ENT professional. Um, this included both uh, experiences at home, uh, training opportunities in Pakistan and uh, abroad, UK mainly. Um, and it helped shape my beliefs and help consolidate some of the earlier beliefs. But then, it, by, you know, I could actually critically review and rethink uh, my beliefs about teaching and learning. Uh, one thing that it helped me do was that I developed the confidence to be able to then say, well, shall we just keep waiting for other people to help us out or do something ourselves? And that led, uh, led me with a few other colleagues to develop, um, to actually establish the Society of Pakistan English Language Teachers, which is spelled. Um, now I see that, why am I sharing all this with, with you? Uh, because I feel that unless I had had this opportunity to reflect critically on my experiences, uh, I wouldn't have realized that um, the expertise that I've developed, that I've developed now as an ELT professional uh, is actually deeply rooted into my experiences. My experiences, which were both positive and some of them were not so positive, but then they were all learning experiences. Um, now, when I am a teacher educator now and have been for several years, uh, but after writing this chapter, I realized that uh, we must include in all our teacher education programs uh, something which has got which allows the participants to critically reflect on their experiences, uh, which will also help them to unpack their beliefs, put, put everything on the table, uh, and then look at it objectively. So uh, I would recommend all of you to actually, uh, if you're teacher educators or even teachers, uh, to do that yourself and to do, individually, you can reflect on your experiences, but it's always nice to have other people, your peers to work with you, and that's an opportunity that's uh, usually uh, provided in a teacher training, formal teacher training program. So if that happens, you would have uh, the opportunity to not only look at your own experience, but as recently in one of my classes, 
uh, it was really enlightening when we started looking at each other's experiences and it, it, it was like, oh, but we are all in Pakistan. We all seem to have, you know, it, before you actually critically reflect on things, you feel, well, what would be the difference? But we realized that the experiences were so different despite living in the same country. Um, and I think it was an extremely enlightening for the participants uh, to uh, look at, examine, analyze their own and their colleagues' experiences. Um, the sense of plausibility, a basic concept that underlies all the chapters in the book and that, that was the main motivation for the book, um, I think is something that I understand now. How do teachers develop this sense of plausibility and how is it rooted in their experiences and beliefs? Um, I would recommend that all of you read the book and hopefully the journey through other people's experiences uh, will help you stimulate you to think about your own and uh, to particularly reflect on that. Thank you very much.